I love patterns. Who loves patterns? I love patterns. Love to add and multiply in patterns. Okay, let's get to let's get more serious, y'all. In today's video, you will learn maths. Dot three dot oh eight dot four point nine. I said I was gonna get serious, but I'm just kidding. We'll be doing arithmetic patterns, people. Let's bring it and let me teach ya. Let's kick it off with example one. It says create an expression that proves the sum of two odd numbers is an even number. So sum means that we are adding two odd numbers. So we need an odd number plus an odd number, which will equal an even number. Doesn't really look like an E. Now it looks sort of like an E. Okay, so give me an odd number. Five, got it. Give me another odd number. Seven. Five plus seven is twelve, and that is an even number. Ah, we just proved it with your help. So here is my equation with my equal sign to prove it, and voila. This is called an in-out table. Um, I didn't really see one in the test item specs, but I've seen them in other places for other standards, so I just want to make sure that we include an example of this. And there is an item type of a grid graphic response item display that um, was mentioned in the spec, so let's go over this. Example two, fill in the table by dragging a number into the correct place. Again, third graders in Florida, you are going to be taking a paper-based test um, in 2016. So I don't know how they're going to grade this, but somehow they are. So when something goes in, a 3 goes in, and out pops a 6. A 12 goes in, and out pops a 15. A 23 goes in, and out pops a 26. I'm looking at what we already have. So 3, I could say times 2, 3 times 2 equals 6, but then 12 times 2 would equal 24, not 15. So it's not times 2. Let's try adding instead since we're increasing. So 3 plus 3 would equal 6. 12 plus 3 would equal 15 and 23 plus 20, oops, plus, ooh, plus 3 equals 26. So the rule for this table, this in out table, is to add 3. So 5 plus 3 would be 8, 9 plus 3 would be 12, and 31 plus 3 would be, you guessed it, 34. Alright, hang tight with me because this one is going to be a doozy. It's not that complicated, but um, sort of is. I'm actually going to need a highlighter for this, so I will be right back. I'm back. Okay, so this one says, which statement correctly describes how to use the multiplication table to find multiples of 8? Multiples of 8. So, this multiplication table, where can you find the multiples of 8? Well, you go down to the 8. Here is a row with the multiples of 8. And here is my column with the multiples of 8. Okay? So, I need to find something that says that. So, and down here we have a key. It says that the dark means shaded and the... Um, box, the white part means unshaded. A says find all the numbers that end with 8. Well, in our column we have 8. 16 doesn't end with 8. 24 doesn't end with 8. So A is not going to work. B, find all the numbers that start with 8. We have 8, that starts with 8. We have 16, but that starts with 1. So that doesn't work. C says find all the shaded numbers that would meet at an unshaded 8. That means all of these numbers that meet at a shaded 8, at an unshaded 8. So 
That just doesn't even make sense. <laughs> D, find all the numbers in the same row or the same column as a shaded eight. So all of these numbers are in the same row. All of these numbers are in the same column as my shaded or black eights. So D is the answer. Example four. Here we go. It says a multiplication table is shown. Select all, so it's multi-select. Select all the statements that are true. A. Multiples of four are always even. So here is a four. I've got four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. Are they all even? Yeah, they are. So A is one of the correct answers. B, multiples of nine are always odd. Well, here are my multiples of nine. I'm, I could go down here, but I'm gonna also show you that you could use the multiplication table as a column. Two, and in this column of multiples of nine, I've got nine, which is odd, 18, which is even, 27, which is odd, 36, which is even, so it follows an odd, even, odd, even pattern. So B does not make sense. C, when you multiply a number by zero, by zero, it is always zero. Well, that's true because zero times one is zero, zero times five is zero, zero times eight is zero. When you multiply a number, like the number nine by zero, it's always zero, yes. When you multiply a number by one, a number by one, it is always one. Well, I could put five right here, and five times one is not one, it's five, so that is wrong. Multiples of five either have a zero or a five in the ones place. Here's my multiples of five. Zero, five, zero, five, zero, five, zero, five in the ones place, so E is correct. And F, multiples of seven never have a three in the ones place. I'll go vertically this time. Here's my multiples of seven. It says that they never have a three. Well, right here, I've got 63. The three is in the ones place, so that is wrong. So A, C, and E are my correct answers, and you have to answer them all in order to get that point. And example five is the last one on the agenda for today. And it is a table item. It says a partial, that means part of a multiplication table, a six by six, a six by six multiplication table is given. Enter the multiples of four to complete the table. So I just have to record my answers in the table. So four, one times four is four. 2 times 4 is 8, 3 times 4 is 12, 16, 20, 24, and the same going this way. 4 times 1, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Watch a multiple song right now. The link is right here. Okay, YouTubers, I have a motivational quote, which will lead to a motivational challenge for you. Um, this one comes from Kid President. Again, I just love Kid President. He says, give people high fives just for getting out of bed. Being a person is hard sometimes. So if you are just waking up in the morning and you're watching my videos, that's awesome. If you're about to go to sleep and you're about to wake up the next day, and you're watching my video, that's awesome. What I want you to do is, the next time that you go to work or you go to school, um, I want you to walk around and try to give out as many random high fives as possible with the biggest smile on your face. I want you to count how many times you do it. And when people ask you, why are you giving me a high five? Just say, because you got out of bed this morning. Being a person is hard sometimes, so good job. And I want you to post in the comment section how many high fives you gave out today. All right, later guys.